a massive and very distinctive Pensy T1-4444 duplex rolls under the signal bridge at Englewood as a New York Central train paces it on a parallel track. Front end of a 4444 T1 rounds the curve westbound entering the Englewood station. The rigid frame T's were designed in hopes of improving the efficiency of the 484 northern wheel arrangement by the addition of two more cylinders. Another westbound T1 enters Inglewood with the Broadway Limited, the Pensy's premier train. Car brings up the rear of the westbound Trail Blazer an all-coach New York-Chicago train. The distinctive nose of a T1 emerges from the fog near the deck plate bridges at Englewood. The T1 gets underway following its station stop. Problems plague the 52 rigid frame T1s in the Pensy fleet. Difficulties that might have been overcome if the relentless tidal wave of dieselization had not swept them into the scrap line. It's early in its career. The portholes are still on the side of the pilot as this T1 rounds a curve. Those engines, expected to be the successors of the K4s, could really move. The 26 Diamonds at the junction on the edge of Chicago's Chinatown posted well over 150 trains a day. The distinctive T1 duplexes at Alton Junction are on their way in and out of the Windy City. The portholes on the pilot indicate these are mid-1940 scenes. The T1 started to look grimy and tired early in their careers. The rigid frame duplex drive was a good idea for a steam locomotive, but it came too late on the Pensy. Everyone knew the diesels were on the way. The aerodynamic shroud was a radical departure in steam locomotive design and they could really fly once the engineer had gotten past their tendency to slip one set of drivers while getting started. A grimy T1 is headed for Chicago Union Station, running fast through the yard at Alton Junction with its train. A westbound rounds the curve coming into Terre Haute behind a T1. mid-1940s. 